Halo Reach, legendary difficulty walkthrough for ArmageddonGaming.com, the final standoff, but not the final part of the game. No. So, hopefully you brought all of the needler rifle you could from the last area like I told you to. Um, there's two different things that... I mentioned that I try to avoid one or there's two forms of the one thing there's not having the appropriate weapon but that can be you picking up a random weapon or you not listening to my prior instructions and if it's the latter of the two I can't help you um you, do you understand what I'm saying no I wasn't paying attention like you know how I say I try to do stuff with the weapons that are available to you yeah well, if you don't listen to my prior instructions and that's why you don't have the weapon, you're out of luck. But f anyway, first of all, look to the left over there. There's going to be a couple brutes that always try to rush you. Uh, once they're down, just kind of look out these windows and do this. Save the sniper rifle. Uh, there's going to be a guy with a fuel rod, and I save it for the guy with the fuel rod because he is a pain. True or false, this whole sequence is a pain. Um, not necessarily. The next sequence is more annoying than this one. This one's not too bad. Uh, it's just about memorizing where dudes come from. Are you guys dead already? Probably. Wow, my guys su survived, like, almost the whole standoff. So, Mule's up there on the Mac cannon. Have no idea what he's shooting at or shooting down because he's not helping anything at all. He doesn't. Um, it's so hard where to like find out if um, if he actually is shooting down ships because like he could be shooting down ships that may make it so you don't have to fight a few enemies. Here I and doubt there. it. I doubt, I doubt it. it too, but it's possible. But there's no, there's really no way to tell. Um. But as soon as you run out of ammo for the other thing, just grab the sniper rifle. Like I said, don't use it yet. You'll see when I use it. So, um... Like, he should just shoot down these, these phantoms. Shoot them down! Right. I don't know if he even shoots down scripted ones. So this guy is coming up all up my grill. Pretty easy to take care of. Um, it's nothing too, too hard to, to deal with. If you could get... This is the one area where I wish there was landmines in this game. <laughs> I really do. This guy's coming up. We're just gonna, we're gonna wait for him. Claymores? Claymores, landmines, whatever. IEDs? Either one, yeah. This guy was. This guy was giving me trouble. You're gonna see what happens after I get his helmet off. I cannot get the last headshot in. Probably wasting a lot of ammo here. Wow, this is. That was ridiculous. That was embarrassing. So, this right here is where I found the stash of DMRs on my first time through the game. I don't know what happened to it. But it is back as you there? See, it's not there. Back behind this house right here, yeah. So there's nowhere it really could have fell from. I just don't know. Uh, so I'm grabbing the grenade launcher just to waste its ammo, really. It's one of those guns. Pretty yeah, sure this it's good against like the brute heroes or like groups of um, uh, jackals. It's it's a very annoying section. Yeah, this is far worse than the previous level. Yeah, because in the previous level they give you so much, so much shit. So now the fuel rod guy's here. So we're gonna get on our bus, and we're gonna take out the fuel rod guy. Now you gonna I get on the bus? Yeah, you didn't just hear the bus drive by my house. No. For real? 
too busy focusing on the buses driving by my house. Oh. Uh, maybe they're in cahoots. So there he goes. Fuel rod guy down. Keep track of where you kill him because we are going to grab that fuel rod at some point, I think. It's a good idea too. Lucky for you because like I said, I'm playing uh, I played on Insane Legendary and I took out I think two dudes with fuel rods and I couldn't pick up either of them. Like they just straight up disappeared on me. Well, there's going to be a uh, going down this hill. As you saw a few marines get dropped off earlier. Assault rifle, DMR right there. Uh, there's also going to be a sniper rifle in the same position or a position near that later on. Interesting. Or maybe maybe that's just the one I picked up. Just kidding. Thinking back to it, I ran by it towards the end and I said, Hey, someone dropped a sniper rifle. And then rewatching this, I just realized it was probably <laughs> mine. It's an empty sniper Damn rifle. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> Fail. Help. Fail tip. Yeah, it was a fail tip. That was a tip just gone wrong. I'm constantly checking behind this house to see. I noticed this is your third point, trip back here. To see if at some point that stash did spawn. So about this point, I think it was started to get rough because they kind of started surrounding me, and this is going to be the point where you're running out of ammo I've, as well. I've never had them come in here, by the way. They'll go downstairs they, in in this area, but they'll never come in here, this room. They won't come in here, but they'll open the doors and shoot at you. Yeah. And I love this when I cannot get that last headshot. Uh, Wait, you're st so still using the hologram? Yep. I was using the drop shield, and what I found to be effective was baiting them into the drop shield. Yeah. Uh, later on with the shotgun, so... Yeah. I would drop the drop shield right in front of them, and they would come and rush, and that they'd come into the bubble the shield, and I'd pop them with the shotgun, that and then back the out. Fuel rod. Yeah. So that's the one I'm probably going to get. I don't think I got the other so one. Back out of the shield, and then when they come out the back of it, pop them with the shotgun again, and then they're pretty much dead. I pretty much had no choice because the shotgun was like the only weapon I had available at this point. Yeah, this is a very rough section for ammo. And the worst part is this isn't even the end of the game. So after you use up all your ammo, you still got ways to go. Yeah. Which is bullcrap. Like, I can understand doing a final standoff for the game, but end it there. Yeah, or make it so that there's no more fighting for the end of the game. Yeah. Or like, ma like make it look like there will be. Just to hype us up and make us go like, oh no. And then you find out there is not. And then you go, whew. There is a level after this, which I did not make a video for because it's not... I don't want to say it's not a level. It's mostly a cutscene. doesn't matter. It's you get your achievement at the end of this one. Yeah, that too. I'm not all about just getting achievements. I'm about making one. No, but the guide games. is over after this level. Yes, because the next level is all spoiler. All spoiler. And usually I don't have a problem with posting spoilers, but when you play this level, you'll see why. I was trying to ask Brian... Because, like I said, he had played it before me. I was saying, just tell me what happens in the next level. See, So I know if i got to make a walkthrough for it. And he refused to tell me. Mm -hmm. And then, and now I see why. It probably takes you... It's, you're probably going to last 10 seconds. Let me, let me just say that. Yeah, you, you could last longer. Because there's a data pad that you can only pick up on Legendary. On that level. What are the point of data pads? Just the yeah, backstory? Yeah. I don't want to say it's Alan Wake style, but they made some that are like only on, on legendary. Yeah, I know in the first level there's a cloaked lead, a cloaked elite only on legendary. So at this point, I'm really getting desperate for ammo. Going over here, grabbing this. Uh, I'm gonna go up here, and there's gonna be a couple dudes up here. As you can tell, I edited out death. That was multiple. So I kind of know what I'm doing at this point. <laughs> you already know where the dudes are gonna be. Exactly. This guy was my worst enemy. Usually they're not too bad. I hate this guy. He's got the plasma grenade thrower thing. They do. Um, save that plasma grenade thrower for <laughs> the next section. 
And pretty much this is it for me. I basically make a run for the area where we're going to have to go because it triggers a cutscene and all your other enemies die. Uh, watch the cutscene. It's really good. Um, no. Something happens. All we're going to say is no. But until then, we'll see you in the next video, which is the last video. No.